everyone welcome to another video from planner uk on instagram i know that a lot of you are really excited because your hobonichi orders are arriving and i can remember that feeling very well when i got my first hobonichi weeks and i was desperate to use it it arrived in september and obviously it doesn't actually start and you couldn't actually start using it until um, kind of end of November, December, I think it was. So I remember that feeling very well. And there are, however, a few things that you can do if you are desperate to set up your Hobonichi weeks. And I thought it might be helpful to show you some of the things that I would suggest. So the weeks for 2021, the first week that you can start writing is the 30th of November. So the week commencing the 30th of November, 2020 in your 2021 weeks. So if you can't wait that long, what I did one year, I was so desperate to move into my weeks that I actually set up spreads in the pages in the back. So I just created like a really simple kind of week set up with appointments down here and this was like my to-do list over here. I did that for a few weeks until I could actually properly start writing in the correct places. So if you're really keen, that's definitely something that you can do. Another thing that you could do if you wanted to on this uh, calendar spread at the start, a lot of shops do kind of date stamps or you could make your own date stamps if you have a silhouette a silhouette machine so you could obviously do some decoration such as that another thing that I like to put in the front of my weeks is like a kind of not really a vision board more like a motivation board so some pretty kind of stickers quotes just things that inspire me really so that's an example there. I'll show you another example. So this is in my current 2020 weeks. And although it didn't amount to much in the end, it wasn't really a very productive year for obvious reasons, 2020, but it still did cheer me up and I did like having this in the front of my weeks. So that's maybe something else that you could consider working on. And obviously, if you do decorate your weeks, then you could obviously make a start on adding the stickers into your monthly spreads, if that's what you use. So obviously, even if you don't want to add the detail yet, you could perhaps add your monthly kit so that you are kind of set up and ready to go and it doesn't have to be using a sticker kit sometimes I just use simple washi tape and so forth just to give a little bit of decoration so that's something else you could do I also like to add washi tape to signify when there are bank holidays or school holidays or actual holidays where we're physically going away as well so that's another thing that you could perhaps set up if you know that you're going to use the notes pages in the back of the weeks and there's some kind of collections or some important information that you need to set up or you want to refer to then perhaps you might want to start setting that up as well for 2021 so for me some of the first things that I put in are things like my word for 2020, my goals. Even if I'm not ready to fill in my goals yet, you could set up the actual page and leave obviously space for it. And things like my months in review. I like to have all of this at the front of my weeks. So that's something that you could make a start on setting up. So just to give an example of a month in review that I've not completed yet for October of this year. So I have this really simple system to review each month. So this is October in review. I ask what I learned, notable events, what made me mad or sad, 
what I'm grateful for, achievements and looking forward to. So it's really quick. It's a really quick thing that I do at the end of each month. So setting up things like that could be really useful. And just a little hack to tell you, I do try and match the month in review here with the month at the front of my weeks as well. I'll just flip to it. So for October, obviously, you can see that the washi tape that I've used on the monthly spread is the same as what I use on the month in review. And they all follow on. Just for quick reference, really. So that's November and December, which matches to November and December in the front here. If you are a fan of tabs as well, that's another good thing that you could set up. So here you can see I have the monthly tabs down the side. So obviously, again, if you're very eager to get ahead and to start setting up your weeks, then that's something that you might want to do. So I hope that's been useful. This is my Hobonichi Weeks for 2021, as you might have seen in some of my earlier recent videos obviously I'm really keen to move into it as well obviously all these shiny clean beautiful pages it's an exciting time especially if it's the first time that you've used a week but you're really eager to move into it as quickly as possible so I hope that some of those tips are useful and I'd love to see how you set up your Hobonichi weeks for 2021 thanks for watching happy planning happy journaling Thank you.